Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective readings. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm getting more energy about whatever was going on today. Yeah, and in the last reading, I, I pulled an energy like some, possibly an air sign um, you talked to to give you some support in a situation about the person that you were dealing with. Um, this could be your family member. I'm getting heavy family situations, right? This could also work, resonate in a work situation. The place, the energy, wherever it resonates with whomever the person is, friend, family, the ex, the karmic attached to the ex, your boss, your coworker trying to be your boss or somebody you interacted with today, whoever it is, you got somebody today to talk, to talk you through it, right? And to give you some type of information, you know, that person came out as the king of swords, somebody who has information to confirm how you are being judged. You are being judged by somebody. That person didn't understand that only, only God can judge me now. Hey, wasn't that too pop? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, this person, I feel like you attempted to address the situation, right? To try to release this negative energy because you don't want to carry on the, this, this strife, right? This is positive vibes only. This is full moon in Capricorn right now. You're releasing all things that do not serve you right now. So I believe that's the energy that you're moving forward with because you're addressing this person in this energy, right? You're coming back to this person and like, hey, what's the problem? Do you have a problem with me? You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, they carry the higher front and the inverse energy, right? This person is very corrupt, lack of morals. They do things on their own. And I've got a lot of downloads, so I'm going to get to those in a second. But this person is also carrying Nine of Cups in the inverse energy. This is a manipulator, and I'm also getting a copycat, just FYI. Um, this person is carrying Nine of Cups in the inverse energy. So definitely very manipulative in Cups energy. Manipulate how you feel. This person would have been really trying to... I don't want you to see my corrupt side of me. So I need to uh, manipulate your emotions so you don't see it. This is what I'm getting in the energy, an obsessive energy, right? I, I don't think this person would have been like overt with it, but it's like covert obsessed, you know what I'm saying? But they are obsessed with your energy because you're coming out so strong, collective. How could anybody not? You know what I'm saying? But the, it's not a cups in reverse energy. They are, it's possibly someone who has romantic problems. Um, I do get this person, this person has, it's like a repeat issue of relationship. So if this is happens it's like an ex or whatever, or a family member, this family member always has problems with other people in the family, right? Or this is an ex that always has bad relationships, right? So this is what I'm getting. But whoever this particular person is, carries a two of swords to the three of swords, which is, wow. They're in denial about how they feel. They are. And I told you what this came out yesterday, somebody car harboring um, secret animosity and, and jealousy towards you. Here it goes again, y'all. Yes, this person is secretly jealous and envious of you. And I told you I got the energy of a copycat, but you're addressing this person because you're just like, look, what's the problem, right? So this is how this person's coming to you, which is very interesting. So they're also coming to you with King of Pentacles and the reverse energy, being very dishonest, heavy dishonest. This person was lying through their teeth. They all, come on, y'all. King of Pentacles in reverse, right under the Hierophant in the reverse. This person's a liar and a manipulator, okay? So you were being asked to use your Page of Cups energy to follow your intuition. You would have been getting psychic downloads. Um, I do have a download that you were getting downloads. Um, Page of Cups, this, this grandma that came through the other day, this grandma came through again. Something about your ancestors is not letting this person go. <laughs> this grandmother came up again, y'all. Somebody, Somebody's grandmother, or if this is not a grandmother for you, somebody's passed on ancestor gave you some information, Page of Cups, because they knew that somebody in the family was trying to manipulate your emotions. Some Your grandma knew that um, uh, somebody was a liar in your family. Grandma knew it. Grandma told you too, Page of Cups, because they knew that you were the psychic one in the family. They knew that you had the gift. Y'all, somebody's out here in, uh, jealous and envious of your gift. And this is what I'm getting in the downloads. Woo, y'all. Let me get into this because I got more downloads. All right, so I got that grandma coming out here, but this is how this person is coming to you, right? This person is jealous and envious. They're trying to hide it. So they're coming out to you, King of Pentacles in reverse, being very dishonest, right? This is somebody who's trying to be dominant over the situation, trying to take control, control over your emotions and how you feel. This person's trying to change how you feel about them because this is how they feel about you. That's the weirdest thing. So they're carrying not a swords in reverse energy because of the uh, seven of wands, trying to come to you like very abruptly, trying to talk to you very bossy. I feel like somebody like seven of wands tried to stand up for themselves in like a bossy way, like... No, I am not 
envious and jealous of you. No, I don't have a problem with you. So if this is like, you're trying to hash it out, you're trying to talk it out. If this is your family, hey, can we work this out? You know, family member, this is somebody, no, I don't have a problem with you. It's you that have a problem with me. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm getting with this energy. But then here goes the, the moon energy, energy of deception, being, dealing with their insecurities. This is what this person's dealing with. This person's insecure as all get out. All get out, y'all. I'm getting heavy one deception. I'm telling you how they're coming to you right now. You're dealing with this person, so you need to know their energy is being deceptive and trying to manipulate how you feel about them being envious and jealous of you. Y'all, I can't with it. The Page of Cups, I'm getting very, very heavy. This person is envious and jealous of your gifts. Page of Cups are psychic, empathic, you're intuitive, you're emotional and sensitive. This has to do with something spiritual because his grandma's coming out again. Grandma's about to, to handle some stuff, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is what grandma said the other day. I can't, yo, this person is in their feelings. And I I'm, I think that they're trying to like stand up for themselves and what it comes across like, um, like snowing you over, but like laying it on thick, like, no, this is why I don't have a problem with you and you're fine. And you know, I got this and this and this going on in my life and I don't have no, I don't have no reason to be worried about you. What I gotta be worried about you for? This is who. <laughs> This is what I'm getting in this Knight of Swords and Reverse Energy. This is how I feel like this person came to you. You know what I'm saying? Literally because of Four of Pentacles and the Inverse to the Nine of Pentacles and the Inverse, which is, come on, y'all. I swear to God, I'm getting copycat energy. Four of Pentacles in the Reverse. This is somebody who's very inflexible. They don't want to lose. They don't want to give up this Nine of Pentacles being codependent, i.e. a copycat. They don't want to give up being codependent on your energy. Literally, you know what I'm saying? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is also somebody who's very lonely. They can't do what you do. You know what I'm saying? This is also somebody bad with money. She got Pinnacle energy in the inverse all over here. It's definitely somebody who's got money problems. Definitely. But heavy codependent. Heavy codependent on your Knight of Pentacles energy. Copycat is what I got in my energy. This is literally spelling out copycat. They're envious and jealous of your abilities. So... I'm getting heavy spiritual. So this is somebody in your family. You're gifted. You're spiritual. They, um, y'all, what I heard, this is what I heard now. Don't, don't be shooting the messenger. What I heard, whoever this person is, this person thought they were the gifted one in the family. And I told y'all that energy came out the other day that you were the one. You were the generational curse breaker. You were the chosen one. And this grandma came out to, to me to say this the other day. This grandma is coming out again. Grandma don't play. Grandma is saying you're the chosen one. You're the generational curse breaker, not this one. I don't care how envious and jealous of your gifts they are. Grandma has said what she said, okay? <laughs> she said what she said. But they are envious of your not of pinnacles energy because you're very hardworking, trustworthy, and dependable, and you're committed to your gifts. I don't care if this is a job. You're committed to your job. This is a coworker or a boss who's jealous and envious of what you do in any any way shape or form copycat this is somebody who wants what you have whatever you have your money your status your job title your car your clothes i don't care what it is your spiritual gifts page of cups somebody is trying to make you feel some way or a different way about how they feel about how you, you how you're showing up in the world not your problem collective this is somebody and their insecurities that they have to deal with that is not your problem leave them on this low vibration where they at you know what i'm saying somebody's codependent on how you're showing up and how committed to whatever it is however you're showing up right now you are also showing up as the king of cups which is very very lovely very very committed to your spiritual journey right now collective right very loving supportive nurturing so i don't think you're like coming coming like this person is coming to you not a swords in reverse energy you're very loving it's very supportive and you're in control of your feelings you're not letting this person rock you right so you're just like i'm using my intuition i see what's going on the collective this will be a confirmation for you in this energy you would have picked up on this person's weird energy you know what i'm saying that they're codependent on you and how you do things right but it's like you're still a loving kind person so it's like they're not changing your energy no matter how much they want to try to manipulate it come on collective king of cups you know what i'm saying and because you have this energy with this person you got the will of fortune yet again y'all the most high keeps doing things for you keeps doing things for you this is your protection this is fate this is destiny this is change in the situation this person's coming to you with this energy this copycat codependent energy somebody trying to you know hide the fact that they're envious and jealous of you however they're envious and jealous of you your spirituality you know what i'm saying this might be somebody who is like like a fake high priestess <laughs> 
somebody who told somebody she was a high priestess, you know what I'm saying? And, and you're actually a high priestess. <laughs> um, Wheel of Fortune's out here for you to change this. This gives you good luck. You're actually getting this Eight of Pentacles energy. Again, this came out yesterday too, y'all. Y'all are persevering through this. This talks about the fact that you're a hard worker. What I'm getting from this energy, it's like, it's telling you to push through. Stand firm on your beliefs. And I had that energy of a bull come out yesterday. I don't care who thinks what about you right now. They can think whatever they want to think, right? Let's say this person um, is not spiritual at all, right? This is somebody judging you on the fact that you're spiritual and you listen to tarot and all this. I don't, what is that tarot business, right? What is that? What are you, what are you Satanists? Let them think what they think collectively. Even if you try to explain it, they might not even believe you then, okay? <laughs> Let them think what they think. That's their problem. But what I'm getting from this Eight of Pentacles energy is the fact that you're a very hard worker regarding your skills, your practice, your training, however that resonates, whether it's your nine to five job, continue pushing through with that. Keep going, okay? Well, if, you're, if this is your spiritual journey, we're talking about keep going. You have been put on a pedestal by God. You're in a new enlightened uh, phase in your life. This is definitely like a new level for you. you. You have unlocked something, your leadership, right? The fact that you're coming out as the King of Cups is what getting uh, what's getting this Wheel of Fortune turning. Keep going. If this is spiritual, if this is your nine to five, if this is dealing with family relationships, if this is dealing with your ex, keep going with your hard work. However that shows up, your nine to five, your job, your financial situation, your business, whatever that is, this is what's telling me that your hard work is gonna pay off, right? Because you're a hard worker with whatever this is, you know what I'm saying? Even if this is spiritual, keep going on your spiritual journey, right? And when you do, dealing with this discord, this temperance in the inverse, all this indulgence is going to go away. And it will eventually when it comes to you working hard to push through it. And I put something on the community board, um, the energy of a lotus. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing. It's kind of like the, the uh, white lotus. It sits on water and mud, you know, and it's undefiled by the water and the mud. So it's just like, I feel like you're in the energy of the white lotus right now. And I'm connecting this to this temperance and the inverse energy. Let them think what they think. If they're codependent on your energy, you can move, maneuver on your own. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep focused, keep staying steady on your per, your personal and spiritual journey because of this uh, Eight of Pentacles energy. You know what I'm saying? And when you do push through, literally Five of Pentacles in reverse comes out. You're going to recover. You're going to be fine. If this impacts you financially, it's financial recovery. And it's just like renewed faith. You're moving forward in your life. Keep going is the message that the Most High is trying to give you. Your job, keep going. Let them think what they think. That copycat, they ain't got nothing on you. You're the leader in this energy. Literally stand on your beliefs. Don't budge. People can think what they think about you. And that is honestly the hardest thing to do. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's easy because it's not. But here's your advice. And it's right next to the Wheel of Fortune. So it's fate. You can't escape it. Okay, collective. This is, <laughs> this is what's going on in the energy to give you some type of recovery. Dealing with the Three of Pentacles in reverse energy. Somebody who is a bad team player with you. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's doing sloppy work, if this resonates in a work situation or however they were working with you and also being in their ego. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, the Ace of Swords is coming out and I got some downloads on this. Something comes out when you're dealing with this interaction. You're going to be fine, right? With this interaction, this person, they're trying to make you believe, no, I don't have a problem with you. Nothing. No, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. But their energy is all, all jacked up. They're codependent. They're a copycat. They're envious and jealousy. That's their energy. You know what I'm saying? Keep going with whatever the work is and you're going to recover. So when you do that, collective, when you keep going with whatever this is, Ace of Swords comes out. My downloads are telling me some truth came out. Um, I do get the download because again, this grandmother is coming through. Grandmother said and wants you to know that she handled your light work or she's about to. <laughs> this Ace of Swords energy is true. Clarity, seeing the bigger picture. This is also being smart about the situation. I think you did something smart, collective. You did something. You did something. You you keep doing something. You do something that people don't expect. And this comes in more sword energy. So thoughts, communications, possibly a download, um, or you speaking something. I think you spoke something about a download that you got. Okay, this is how it's coming to me. This Ace of Swords. This is truth. I'm I'm being guided to tell you that you have the truth and it's kind of like this person they come across like they are truthful because they're trying to manipulate how you feel about them in the situation but they're not truthful king of pentacles in reverse they're not truthful you have the truth on your side and you speak truth right so this this ace of swords energy the truth happens and when the truth happens the devil comes out y'all <laughs> however this resonates 
if you said something that was truthful, you got a download that allowed you to see the bigger picture and get clarity in the situation or however this resonated, some, something came out, right? This was, however it was, you were very, very smart because it brought out the devil in that. Mm-hmm. Devil showed his face, didn't it? So if you were unclear about this person's energy, if you were unclear about this person's motivations because they were trying to manipulate you, that truth showed that devil's face. Dealing with their energy and manipulations, temptations, addictions, seductions, materialism, you wouldn't, you can't unsee that. You can't unsee that. Even if this is a family situation, you cannot unsee that your family member was moving in devil energy. You cannot unsee that now, right? You would have seen this person's envy and jealousy. You would have seen the fact that this person was a copycat in your energy. You would have seen this person was lying to your face. Come on, collective. You would have seen that. And I've noticed something, you know, in my journey, it's always the sort of truth and it's always kind energy like this that always exposes the devil, which is, it's, it's, it's weird when you think about it. It's like people expect when you're kind, somebody is kind back to you. And unfortunately, <laughs> that's not a lot of, uh, that's not what happens out here a lot of the times because people being in devil energy, you know what I'm saying? So this is what's coming out in the energy. I literally, uh, just uh, story time for a second. I had a situation um, one time with a, a coworker that I was working with and you know, there was a, uh, let's say a conflict of interest, right? Uh, you know, and, and ideas of how we wanted to do things, right? So in discussing it, being very nice and very, being very professional, um, you know, stating what I wanted to do and then saying, uh, allowing her to say what she wanted to do, right? All, all, everything is wonderful, right? So I present a way that we can meet in the middle, being fair, being supportive, King of Cups energy, and what, had, what happened? The truth came out that this person was moving in devil energy. That person never wanted to partner with me. Never. This person wanted to do what they wanted to do. King of Pentacles in reverse energy. And it's always when you actually are in that energy and not returning negative energy, you really get to see the true energy of people. The devil likes to show its face. It, it, can't, it can't hide for too long. Whether you see it, feel it, get a download about it, the truth will always expose the devil, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I think is happening. Um, I happened in this particular situation with the Ace of Swords energy. And here go you switching to the Queen of Wands, being very independent, very confident, and very protective. One, I think when the truth came out, you knew that you had to protect your energy from this person. It would have been, mm -mm. I know it, mm -mm. this is certainty. I know what time it is. I know that devil energy. I need to protect my energy from this person. But what I also get from your Queen of Wands energy, this copycat, this person who's envious and jealous of you, this person is envious and jealous, which is why the devil comes out next to the Queen of Wands. It has everything to do with how independent you are. You do something that nobody does. You're the chosen one. You. So if I don't care whether it's your job, your family, um, you know, dealing with the ex, you're the chosen one. You're the one who does things the way that you do it. And that's the way God meant it, meant it for you. No, you're not here to be a copycat. But who gets pressed about that? Copycats, okay? <laughs> Y'all, you are not here to be to be a, 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 a copy, a facsimile uh, for someone. But they want to be a copy of you. Somebody's out here jealous of your, your spiritual gifts too. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, you're definitely somebody who is very independent, very confident and courageous. You're, you're very sociable. You've got friends with a very small circle. But you do things your way and there's nothing wrong with that, honey, do you? That's why people are envious and jealous of you right now because you don't need to copy them. Oh, well, well, they got four cups energy. They mad and they're going to miss out on an opportunity because you're not going to allow them to copy off of you. Isn't that right, Collective? Literally, four cups energy coming out to the eight of cups in reverse. They stuck. They're not motivated now. And it's all because they don't want to take responsibility for their actions. If this person was saying that they don't have a problem with you, they lied. They lied. They just don't want you to think they have a problem with you because they don't want they don't want you to go away from them because they want to still be able to be codependent on your energy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need to stay close enough to the collector so I can copy them. This person probably would have said something as a copy of something that you did, said, or your work, you would have seen a copy. I keep getting copy. This person's a copycat. <laughs> legit they don't want to take responsibility for it but because of this energy you have the three wands energy that tells you to keep moving move on from this person you got what you got collective you got the truth you don't need to be fooling with this person no more the truth came out what you're hanging around them for keep going literally keep being the emperor keep being the leader keep being in a position of authority i don't care if they're mad at your spiritual gifts grandma said what she said and she dropped the mic 
Okay. <laughs> they got a problem with it. They can go talk to God and grandma because they, it's not, it's not your problem. You know what I'm saying? You're the leader in this situation. You're coming out so, so powerful. Literally. Also discipline. I'm getting that you're really learning the lessons of a not, how not to spend your energy. And that reminds me of a movie quote. Sorry, time. Um, one of the Hellraiser movies. I can't, I can't remember which one. It was one of the, the later ones. Um, in a scene of the movie, um, there is a character. He says, now again, we're talking about the horror movie Hellraiser series. So he says, I come from a world where pain is currency. I'll be happy to spend some on you. Y'all literally talking devil energy right so if people in devil energy they think of pain as currency and they are disciplined with how they spend that energy you need to be just as disciplined how to spend your positive good loving energy don't be spending your energy on this person who don't want it they just want to steal it and be envious and jealous of you come on collective somebody's out here learning this lesson be disciplined in how you where you spend your energy and who you spend it on emperor you have the power. You do, not them. Don't forget that. This is your energy, literally. And then you're coming out with our final clarifier, the hermit. When you understand the lessons of where and who not to spend your energy on, you are becoming wiser with the hermit. Taking a step away from society and understanding that you need to conserve your energy and know and be discerning with your uh, page of cups energy, using your intuition around people like this who just want to steal from you energetically, spiritually, financially, sexually, however this resonates. Right? You don't want people who are codependent copycats who are envious and jealous of you and going to lie to your face about it. Come on, collective. Hermit, you're wiser about the situation. This is you doing self-reflection to really understand what God is showing you. Capricorn full moon ain't playing with people. Your ancestors out here got your back. You protect it either way, collective. You good. You know what I'm saying? Hermit, make sure you take time to really take in this Capricorn full moon energy. Really take in the message. Remove things that no longer serve you. I don't care who it is. Your family, your ex, your job, your, your, your best friend. You've been friends for 17 years. Well, that 17 years, you changed and they didn't. Leave them where they're at. Ain't no love lost. Be wise about the situation. Go in hermit mode and that's going to continue your elevation. All right? Let's get a astrology card and we'll get some advice for our collective. Literally. Card 22, Capricorn. Capricorn full moon is in full effect, y'all. Better take advantage of this energy. It's time to focus on your objectives and not let up. Ruled by Saturn, the planet of hard luck, the sign of Capricorn is personified by the goat that climbs the steepest cliffs to gain worldly success. Capricorn is a resourceful sign and those under its influence long for power and prestige. There is no one more ambitious than a Capricorn. They really do want to take the world by the horns. There are more spiritual goats, of course, as well, but the aim of most Capricorns is fundamentally practical in nature. With them, there are no careless wanderings into fairyland. This mountain goat looks for a physical niche, and through some glorious contact by which they can achieve, their aim is to come up in the world no matter what it takes. This is the reason behind the motto for Capricorns I use. With Saturn as their ruler, Capricorns are interested in what's solid, what can be seen, touched, or brought. Capricorns utilize their energies towards some concrete purpose rather than their daydreams and imagination. When Capricorns do indulge in dreams, they always dream big. They are insanely ambitious and often good looking. Capricorns appear mature early in life and then grow younger and younger looking with each passing year. When Capricorn card turns up in a reading, it denotes a time of diligence and hard work. There is a gaining in status and reputation. Whatever you've toiled over and especially sacrificed for, you are ready for splendid results to be revealed. Keep in mind this game may be slow and systematic, but that you are heading towards something solid and lasting. You are about to meet all the right people who will back you and your goals. Some may be greater in status than you, but they will show you the ropes or support you in some substantial way. By all means, do not lose them. Y'all, we literally had that energy on my last reading. Capricorn is a sign of drive and ambition. Therefore, you may feel more driven than usual. In essence, this card is saying to put childish things away and take responsibility. Go for what you want in a systematic way. Beware of looking back and staying in the shadows. It's time to unleash your talents upon the world. Do not let up, go out on a limb. If your question has to do with romance or relationships, then these may take on more serious tones. Matters should grow deeper and more committed. It could be that one partner is older or higher in social rank, or maybe a guide or a teacher than the other. It may also mean that one is more serious than the other as well. Since Capricorn is a methodical earth sign, your outcome may progress gradually, unfolding at its own pace. You won't be able to rush matters at all. Everything must happen in its own time, not yours. Career and your profession are also important, and you can expect to see some changes there too. 
With the Capricorn card, you can be assured that the answer will be just and fair, especially if you have worked hard and kept your nose to the grindstone. With this card and a spread, you will not be defeated. And yep, and the energy that corresponds with the Capricorn energy actually is the devil in the tarot. So a lot of things that have to do with hard work. So we have the, uh, the Eight of Pentacles out here, Seven of Pentacles, and this did uh, come out, um, or excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the energy that came out um, yesterday as well. It talks about hard work. So the fact that you're hardworking, you can outwork anybody that's coming around in your energy right now, and they're all getting set down. However, this resonates spiritually, financially, in your career, you know, dealing with people in business transactions, your family, the fact that you do the work is what's setting people down because of this Capricorn full moon energy. Y'all, it ain't playing with people. <laughs> all right, let's get a mystical oracle and we'll wrap it up. Card 45, new directions. Um, and literally with that uh, Herman energy, you, you're probably going to be going in a new direction because you know this person is envious and jealous of you. They're copying off of you and they won't tell you about it because they're just a hater. <laughs> A dandelion is an airship traveling through the sky with a top hat as the basket these men are flying away in. One man jumps out of the basket and sails off on a flying dandelion seat. It takes him far away, while the other men wave goodbye and wish him well. This story illustrates endings and departures that are necessary to gain perspectives in life. It takes courage to change directions and abandon old habits, but if you're bold enough, you can fly towards something new, a dream, a place, or even yourself, literally. Come on, Hermit, fly away in a new direction. Take the lead. You are in leadership positions right now. However this resonates, leading the one as being the chosen one in your family, leading the one being a generational curse breaker, leading the one at your job, leading the one in your friend or your, your, your circle, however this resonates, you are leading the way. Take charge. When you enter your Hermit mode, you actually really become clear on what direction you need to go using this Capricorn full moon energy. I love it, y'all. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.